What's up guys? Uh, this is the start of part two of the big turbo install. So it is the Monday after my dry fit this weekend on the turbo uh, at Evibe Customs and basically, wait is that a cop? Two seconds. Basically um, I am on my way to the shops uh, Mr. Turbo and Fury to buy some supplies, uh, Teflon hosing, uh, T-bolt clamps for the boost pipes and all of that. And let me just adjust the camera here. Uh, T-bolt clamps for the boost pipes and all of that. And yeah, there's quite a shopping list of things to get. I've already ordered a bunch of AN fittings and bungs and stuff from resto mod um, i think they're in neisner and they've been quite helpful as i originally placed the order for the incorrect fitments and they were so quick and easy on a sunday at 9 pm to whatsapp me back and say that uh, they will swap the order and send me the new invoice for the new fittings before it comes out to me i appreciate that a lot from them and that is great customer service on their part um I said um again. I think I should add an um counter for my friend Richard from the Johannesburg ST crew. Um, there I said it again. So yeah, I will film more once I get back and then I will show you what I've bought. And I just wanted to mention before I get to the shops and before I forget, um, thank you very much for all the support on the previous video. I am blown away by the positive response that I got from it and yeah it's i couldn't have asked for a better response thank you to all my friends family and all the new subscribers who joined us and showed support on the video and also what an amazing month we are having on instagram with i think 500 followers gained in the last week and also one million interaction that is a major milestone my second time uh hitting it I had it consecutively at 1 million plus for six months straight. So yeah, I just wanted to say a major shout out and thank you to all of you who support me thoroughly on all my social media platforms. So I just finished up at uh, Fury. Shout out to Donny uh, and his wife for helping me out with everything I needed. So first things first, uh, Turbo Smart Electronic Boost Controller. Um, this is to run my low and high maps and for initial testing on the car when the big turbo is in. Um, super stoked. I've been wanting one for a while. A T25 exhaust gasket on the between the manifold and the turbo. Then what do we have here? We've got five meters of vacuum line. Um, one meter of Teflon of AN4, AN6, and AN8. Um, this is the best, strongest uh, sort of AN hosing you can use, um, no doubt. Then T-bolt clamps, they're better than normal hose clamps. I've got six big ones and six smaller ones. Um, that's for the boost pipes and such and such. And yeah, that's all for now. Um, I will be heading through to Mr. Turbo now to get, what am I getting there? Uh, wire protector and oil line protector so yeah i will show you once i get that what's up guys it is now friday the previous clips were filmed uh this week monday so four days ago um placed some orders on sunday night in the week now from resto mod and ftf and performance products essay um one of the shipments of the three have arrived so basically on wednesday we had a public holiday i was at the shop with kenneth and we did some work on the car he's on his way to the shop now i'm here by myself don't have the keys to the car but basically we put in the meth kit i have a stage two progressive cool boost cool boost meth kit and we fitted the tank and the pump in the rear ran the loom i cleaned the loom up put the insulation tape around the whole thing put sprag over it um soldered connections and all of that stuff i've got some new uh bullet connections now from acdc just to make it all neat prim and proper we plumbed in the boost reference point from the engine bay into the cabin 
We ran the ECU for the meth kit underneath the cubby hole and we need to wire the, or run the boot, the controller onto the dashboard and I bought now a light that runs on the accessory wires from uh, ACDC. It runs on the accessory wires to show when it's spraying. So that will go on my A-pillar. And yeah, let me show you what I bought. So we're just inside the car here. These all came from FTF. This is the light that I bought from ACDC. It will go on my A-pillar. Just light up here. I'm in the daily. Um, this will light up on my A-pillar. Uh, here's for the oil drain on the bottom of the turbo, A and 8 fitting, A and 690 for on the turbo, A and 690 for on the turbo, those are both for coolant. Uh, here's a 3 8 inch to A and 6 barbed adapter, which goes into a straight A and 6, that's for on the motor side. Uh, for coolant, same story there for both sides. And then here we have AN4. This is for oil feed. Um, and then this is also AN4 for oil feed. The, I'm getting an adapter now from FTF uh, in Johannesburg. Really, really high quality fitting. Super happy with them all. Really beautiful. Ah, oh, shucks. They are all for Teflon hosing, so the best of the best. Um, thank you to my friend Peter for recommending that to me. Then here are some fittings, uh, bullet connectors to for the meth kit, just to make it nice. Here's some nice automotive gate, high gauge or low gauge, whatever, which one, I don't know. Uh, has can do 20 amps, which is perfect for the NOS kit and the meth kit. So that will be going in today. This we will be making today. Um, so yeah, basically I am just waiting for an exhaust manifold. Mr. Turbo has been closed with the strikes. So I need to go to there on Monday and buy a heat protective wire and uh, hose covers just to keep all the heat off where it shouldn't be. Um, so yeah. We are getting close to where we need to be. Then I need to just get the welding done um, for my NOS bung and my meth bung. I got a tappet cover from a mate in Johannesburg uh, doing a kind of like a, how can I say it? Like a custom idea with a tappet cover, going to be painting it, um, fitting some AN fittings on there to get rid of the plastic connections for the PCV and CVV, whatever, I think it's CVV side, uh, for my catch cans so that I can do AN lines on them. Um, so yeah, I'm really stoked. I got some good custom ideas going through my head and need to get the car back on the road pretty soon. And yeah, inside I showed you guys, I got the boost controller, all the Teflon hosing, um, yeah, so today we're just going to see as much as we can get done. We're going to try to get done. And what is today's plan? Today's plan is to make the oil feed and coolant hoses for the turbo out of the AN to tidy up the meth kit. Because from Performance Products SA, I've got a meth controller coming, the nozzle holder, the nozzle CB5. I should go CB7, but we'll start small and then the bung for the cold side pipe. Then from FTF, I've got the AN6 to barbed adapter, female AN6, and then AN6 male to step down to AN4 for the oil feed. So yeah, we're getting somewhere slowly but surely. And today's Friday, we're gonna put in some work. Tomorrow, we're gonna to put in some work, or Sunday, depends which one. I've been chatting with my friend Mervyn. We got some carbon stuff going down on the car. Um, he did this for me, the carbon panel on the back here, it's full carbon, no wiper uh, hole, no wiper blade hole, no Ford badge, no line across it, in twill weave carbon, I don't know if you see there, so he did that for me, that was the first one in the country, that's the first one he's ever made, and then I imported these from Ford, it is the boot lip protector, 
Also, he finished it in pure carbon fiber for me. Also, first one in SA, first one he's ever done. I imported them for him to remake. So yeah, I'm proud to have his badges on my car. He's one of my long-standing sponsors of the build. And we've got some cool carbon fiber goodies coming for the interior, sun visors, door handles. We've got the bonnet vents going in, also carbon. And we have a wing extension going in, which will be used either in conjunction with my big wing kit, because I've built my own big wing kit. I got a sponsor by a metal co cutting company, designed it myself. So yeah, just waiting for Kenneth to come through now, but then we should get this process going. I'll show you what we did with the meth kit. We ran into some struggles getting the reference point through, but it's all sorted now. Um, I'm going to put the meth kit in the car, but I'm not going to be, uh, the NOS kit in the car, but I won't be using it as yet because I need software for it so, so I can retard the timing. Um, otherwise, it will just blow up in my face. But for now, I'm going to stick with Revo, learn the boost controller myself. Um, I've got the Turbo Smart one from Fury, like I said earlier, and in the previous clips. But yeah, it's a whole learning curve for me. I'm trying to do it all myself as much as I can. But yeah, I'm really stoked. And I'll show you guys what we get up to today. Okay, so we're busy with the FTF fittings now. I've cut off the hose clamp from here from factory. Put in the barbed adapter from FTF onto AN6 adapter. And then down here on the coolant feed yeah feed the other side is return put in the barbed adapter i'm gonna put these fittings on i made my own vacuum lines it's pretty fine doing just push on but i wanted to have extra safety so i replaced all of them with these my bobbies i haven't done anything down here maybe i will do it down to the cold side pipe just to get a little bit more flexibility and whatnot but there we'll get a hose clamp there we'll get a hose clamp this now goes to the turbo, which uses 90 degree bends. Let me show you what I did. So walking through the shop, made these myself now quickly. Um, Teflon braided hose onto a FTF 90 degree. Uh, this will go on the turbo, measure it to length, blah, blah, blah. And then onto those fittings I showed you now. This is for oil drain, that is for oil feed. Got two more fittings, still got a set of this coming from F, uh, from Retrofit from Neisner. But now I must just look for the fitting that goes onto the block for the oil. Okay, so I successfully made my first complete AN line. Uh, it's a 90 degree that will go on the turbo, round about that way. The straight fitting will go onto here. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Going up. Then that must be tightened. Put a hose clamp on there. This drops around down there onto the turbo. Next one is measuring the length of that one, which I have some excess for. So yeah, hopefully that reaches where we need it to reach on the turbo. But let's try the next one. So I have to fit the 90 degree onto that excess hose over there and see where we go from that. So here's the next AN fitting. Same story as the other side, straight to 90. So this one will go over here. If I can get it on there, being a little bit of a, a raw score to get on. Um, struggling a bit. There you go, got it. Um, so that one will go here, round the back, and onto, onto some of that, that one right there. No, not that one. Somewhere else. It will go somewhere there. So now I just need to do the top one that comes up there. I don't know if you can see the top one that's oil feed i think so i'll do that now quickly um but yeah we're getting somewhere super stoked about these fittings 
100% made by myself, designed by me, fitting supplied by Resto Mod and FTF. Great customer service from them. Really nice fittings as well. So yeah, I mean, they're really nice. So yeah, I'll show you now when I'm busy with the AM4. So over here and over here, I have barbed fittings um, onto adapters to straight fittings. Um, I need the same thing for here, but the problem is this is AN4 and they don't make barbed to AN4. So what FTF have done for me is they've sent me a barbed to female AN6 and then a male AN6 step down to AN4. So this, wait, this side will go to an AN4 to AN6 adapter. AN6 will go into AN6 female to barbed, which will go into this. This attaches to the block. I'll snip it like there. Adapter, barbed adapter will go in there and adjust to there. So I need from here to that fitting, which won't be this long. I'm going to measure it up now. Okay, so this is the factory fitting that goes on the block to the turbo. Uh, point of no return. I snipped it. I have to, because uh, the barbed fitting must go in there. So this will go to the block somewhere back here. I think that over here, somewhere here. Uh, there, that's the bolt for it. So yeah, we will see how this goes. Need to measure that up get it trimmed still waiting for the fittings i'll probably arrive monday um yeah i wasn't gonna put the nos kit in but now i'm tempted to just run it through the car you know yolo let's just have it here for when you're ready i'll have to get different software uh keeping the stock high pressure fuel pump i'm going off on a tangent now um i said i'm again damn richard's gonna bully me about this but we move. I'll get back to you once the AN4 is trimmed up. Okay, so I just made the AN4 line. This goes on the turbo, comes up to that. This goes on the block, it will have the fitting there. And basically it will have an adapter over there. Um, yeah, it will have an adapter there. This is turbo feed, oil feed on the turbo. So Bob's your uncle. Now I just need to make the bottom one, which is A and 8, but I'll show you the problem now. So basically the problem we have here is, this is the side that goes on the turbo, so A and 8 fitting, A and 8 hose. This is the part that goes on the block, you can see it's quite a big fitting, but I don't know, you can see the problem there. It needs to be a A and 10, uh, yeah, A and 10. Um, so yeah, that is a, a problem. So, um, what did we do today? We sorted out the AN lines almost, um, just waiting for the fitting for these. It's about two hours later now from when I last filmed. We need to come up with a plan for the oil drain. What I have here isn't going to work. Um, I've decided now, first I was for it, then against it, then for it, then against it, now I'm for it again. I'm just going to put the kit in the car, not run it for now until I can get new software. But I've wired up the kit for the NOS. The heater bot, the heater blanket is there, wired, that will go to the negative terminal. This will go to the switch above my head and then back to the positive terminal. Then the solenoid is in the engine bay. It's grounded, it's gone back to the switch above my head. Then I just need to put a switch in, go underneath to the accelerator pedal, put a switch behind there. So this, that's what I still need to do. From the switch at the switchboard above my head to the accelerator pedal, from the accelerator pedal back to the, back to the battery. Then I need to run the NOS line from the boot to the engine bay, to the solenoid. So we're going to put it in, get it ready so that when I'm ready, then I can just run it. I don't even know where my AN line is. It should be somewhere here at the back. Um, so yeah, we got quite far today. 
I added quick disconnect points on the meth kit by the level sensor and the motor so that I can quickly take it in, put it, put it in, take it out and to make that process easier. So I think what I'm going to do now is get some sanding work done so that this can go to the upholsterer because before I can run the car, these need to be in the car so that I can have my boost gauge so that we see on the first startup I'm not over boosting, don't blow a motor what have you. So yeah, um, we got pretty far, got further than I thought we would today. All the A in lines are done. We still need to put on the turbo blanket that we're waiting for the gasket and the oil cooler must go on, but all of this must be done with the turbo install. I need to get a blower valve still, which will go on the hot side pipe, rewrap the hot side pipe. Maybe I'll do that now. And what else must be done? I'm trying to think. What else must be done? Um, the bung must go on the cold side pipe for the NOS and the meth. That should arrive Monday, unless it arrived while I've been gone from home this afternoon. I'll check that when I get home. And yeah, let me show you by the car. It's pretty, pretty dark outside. It's only, I don't even know what the time is. I will flip the camera now. Okay, so the flash is on. There's the meth kit at the back there. I still need to get a filler cap for there with a breather that can go out the car. You can see, sorry, my phone just died. So let me hop inside here explain to you the story so there's the meth kit it's not the final mounting point but that's what i was speaking about quick disconnect so if i need to i can't really do it with one hand because they're quite tight but yeah if i need to quick in out same thing on the level sensor over here then the whole loom comes back there's the positive and negative we're going to do a whole battery setup here because i have too much shit ground like going to the battery uh, if you can see here so we're going to do like a buzz bar kind of thing where everything will come in and just the buzz bar will go to the battery um there's my flame kit already made just need to wire it in that needs to go in that corner over there where the underglow and the nos cable come up so here's the nos cable the bottle will be mounted in the middle of the car somewhere here the heater blanket will connect here obviously on the negative run up along the roof to my switch panel here where that is my flame kit and then it will run back obviously down to the power for the heater and then that is my power cable from the solenoid inside the engine bay you can see it runs up there through the firewall blah 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 then it's grounded in the engine bay. Here's my meth kit ECU. Still need to do some wiring on that. I need to get the SPMU cables through to the engine bay. Need to wire up the switch nicely all the way up there. And yeah. So that's that for inside the car. Let me show you in the engine bay. Right, just had to get out the car quickly. So in the engine bay, here's the the fogger drift loss there is the solenoid not mounted it's just lying there this goes down behind the gearbox through to the back this connects to the solenoid with also a quick disconnect inside this will go to the grounding point here sorry about the flash that will go to the grounding point over here because my battery relocation kit gets grounded um this needs to mount somewhere here with a solenoid with the SPMU from the meth kit over there. And that can go down the back. I've got a special tappet cover like I explained. Not going to give away too much on that. These must still be run inside the car for the oil pressure. This must be fixed. Oil pressure and oil temp. This must be fixed because this is the underglow. Kind of drove over it while pulling the car out and then what else inside the car um i'm gonna sort out the meth wiring right now 
I can't really set up the controller because I bought a new controller. But yeah, that's that. And I think this is enough for this video. I will post more once the new parts arrive and once we start the install. Hopefully Ford can be quick with my delivery of my gasket. Those were custom made by Jean from Powderholics. It's on both sides. Uh, Kenneth and I just discussed what we're doing with the roll cage. It's going to be pretty cool. And I don't think we're going to do much of a sound setup in the car. We're going to focus more on upholstery. Sorry about that. We're going to focus more on upholstery and the race aspect of the car. And then maybe sometime in the future add a sub. Because I mean, I really do love sound, but it doesn't have to be the feature of the car. That is the feature of the car. And the whole setup I'm doing here. Yeah? I really wish I could tell you guys what I'm doing. My one friend, Jean Henning, he knows exactly what I'm doing, but I'm going further than what I told him. Um, yeah, I got a really cool idea. This won't be running, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, thankfully, because it won't blow my motor, but it will be once I get the correct software for it. And yeah, thank you very much. Sorry about the lighting. Let me step more in the light here. Um, Fix the cap. There we go. Ah, oh, no, still not. Fix the cap. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a really productive day and week here at Evo Customs building the car. And yeah, I'm just waiting for the last few things, like I said, and then I'll film another one. But I'm really stoked at how far we've come. The only thing holding us up now is the manifold gasket from Ford. I don't know when that will arrive. They said it has to come from the factory, it's not in stock anywhere. But I'll see maybe if I can get a shipment from someone else, maybe Ashley Long in Johannesburg or Juan Dean. Maybe they can sort me out with that. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.